Okay, here it is, 820 Longhorn Road. Uh, it hasn't been lived in for a year or so, I guess. And uh, this is what we're looking at here, is a double panel garage, two bedroom, two bath. This is some of the yard here. This is, this is some of the damage, I guess, if you want to call it that, you know, some dry rot. Corners of the eaves are a little tough. Same thing. The uh, deck on the outside here is a little tough, but the flooring is good on the inside. Uh, hold on. And uh, you know, it's they don't have grass out here per se. Neighbors, nice little rock formation they got. Plenty of trees, that's one thing mom likes. Um, here again, little evidence of dry rot. Let's say, here's the backyard. second house and here a little pond it goes up that way a little stream a little waterfall up to that point right there okay right there all right this is just a slam bam deal but here's a little garden shed back here And, uh, you know, it hasn't been cared for too well, but that's all right. Nothing a weed whacker can't fix. And this, this too, you know, is supposed to have a little awning over it and a little flagstone patio and so on and so forth. And here's the inside of this little garden shed. Yeah, it looks like it's insulated. So let me see, what is that? About 10 feet. Looks like 10 feet across, so that must mean it is 1, 2, 8, 10 by 12, it looks like. Okay. A little clothes line. That would imply a person has to wash clothes. Okay. Here now is another example. It didn't get cared for. Got more dry rot. Rotted so much they just took the deck off. Okay. And so there you have it. This stuff is and not I don't know, I'll have to think about this. How to repair it or whatever, but whoever took it off just smashed it off, cut it off. And kind of a neat rock formation outside the back door on this place. And what we're what we're standing in right now of course is the uh, this would be the deck for the little the little house. Uh, two bedroom one bed. waterfall and pump and whatnot. All right, so here's the back side of the big house. Okay, that's a relative term. It on, sits on half an acre. This thing here is actually a swamp pool. And the same thing right there. That's a swamp cooler for this place. All right, here's a little better look of 
the little house. And uh, let's see, hard to say what what this pile of rock, whatever was in mind for this pile of rock, I do not know, but it's been here a while. And uh, go around this way. Well, there's the big boulders again. And here we're just walking along the side of the house. Got a two foot eave on it. That speaks well. And this back here, what we see is a fence line up at some other guy's place. And I think he's on a five acre piece back here. So, anyway, go back this way. And that's about it. I mean, it's just a real fast slam bam nickel tour, but uh, gonna be home. Okay. And then this is, this used to be parking along here for the little house. Probably still will be. Had some washout trouble here. Um, I'll figure out like a French ditch for that. Anyway, well there you have it folks. View. Trees all over the place. Thankfully, not too many of these oak, because they shed three times a year. Okay. And they make a kind of leaf that doesn't rot. It just, it has a waxy coating on it. And, uh, you just lay around and make a mess. Looks like it could paint job pretty soon. But the masonite's in good shape, and it's just the worst of it is that, like I say, over there, that little bit of fascia, uh, here, you know, the steps are in tough shape, but they're still doable for now. This is in tough shape uh, back here on the sun side, but, you know, if you look here on the inside, it's not too bad. That's the inside. That's kind of living room, dining room, great room, whatever you want to call it. And then right there, you can kind of see the uh, you can kind of see the kitchen area. Okay. Well, the road gets some traffic, all right. But traffic wherever you go I guess. Alright. Oh. So you haven't seen me in a while. There he is folks. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, the surround view. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the neighborhood across the street. You know, so it's nicer, nicer home. Older folks. Mom will fit right in. Love you all. Bye-bye.